Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. I hope that you're having an incredible day. Let me first just invite you to Sunday services this weekend, Sunday morning. We're going to be concluding our Biblical Worldview Sermon Series. And Sunday evening, we'll have a time of worship, a challenge from the Word, and we're going to spend some time as a family, as a congregation, praying for our nation, our community, and our church. Now more than ever, we need the Lord, and we're going to take some time to pray and believe God for great things for our future. I'm going to be preaching this Sunday morning, uh, concluding this uh, sermon series on this belief that God is all-powerful, all-knowing, and still rules the world today. In the Barna series that we've been citing, 70% of Americans and 93% of born-again Christians agree with that statement that God is all-powerful, all-knowing, and rules the world. I want to talk about that for the next couple of minutes. And I want to share with you one of my favorite verses of Scripture in Ephesians 3.20 that says, God is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that's at work in us. The message version says he is able to do far more than you could ever imagine or guess or request in your wildest dreams. Isaiah 55, 8 and 9, God says, My thoughts are nothing like your thoughts, and my ways are beyond anything that you can imagine. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. God exceeds our expectations. He defies explanation, and he is so far beyond our wildest imagination. We need to learn to expect from God the impossible the unusual, the supernatural, and the miraculous, because that's where God operates. He makes possible the impossible. So many times in scriptures, it tells us that nothing is impossible with God, that with him, all things are possible. He's all-powerful, he's all-knowing, he's eternal, sovereign, and he is El Shaddai, God the all-powerful one. And he provides everything that we need. Philippians 4.19, my God will supply all your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. And 1 Peter 5.7 says to cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Give him your worries, give him your cares, your doubts, your anxieties, because he cares. We don't have to worry about a thing because we have a God in heaven who cares for us. He loves us, he's with us, he's for us, he knows what we need and promises to supply everything for us. Letting God have your cares and anxieties calls for action. He says, cast all your cares on him. Don't submit to circumstances, but surrender everything to the Lord who controls all the circumstances. Colossians 1.17 says, God holds all creation together. He's the glue that keeps us and everything else from falling apart. Psalm 55.22 says, cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. So I don't know what you need today. I don't know what you're struggling with. Just the simple fact that we've been in a worldwide pandemic for the past seven months, the stress of COVID may have you feeling down and out. Maybe it's the election and all the political battling that's going on. It's the riots and looting that we see happening across our nation on the news day after day. Maybe you're fighting a disease. I know several people in our church are, are fighting cancer. Maybe it's discouragement, disappointment, doubt, despair, depression. Here's what I know about God. He provides at just the right time, in just the right way, with everything that we need. And then some. He's able to do more, exceedingly, abundantly, beyond. His ability is incredible, it's outrageous, it's extravagant, and we can trust him. So let's trust him with our lives, and let's trust him with our circumstances. Let me pray for you. Father, in Jesus' name, for all who are, who are listening to this today, who are in desperate need, who need your touch, who need your strength, who need your, your power, who need something miraculous in their life. Lord, we look to you and we believe in you. You are all-powerful. You are all-knowing. And you have the ability to do something about it. You know what we need and you've promised to supply all of our needs. So we trust you, we lean on you, we look to you, we call on your name, the name that's above every name. And we trust you, God, to bring answers, to bring healing and help today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining us.